Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Wednesday, so that means it's time for another shave. Uh, and we're going to try something that's been done before, but I don't think I've done it on this channel. A viewer requested um, shave today. So here we go. I'm going to be comparing the McCur Progress to the Parker or with the Parker variant there so we'll have a look a little more at the details about that in a minute we'll just run through the rest both have got a persona blade in i put it in before for just aesthetics and to save time um, but i know people do like to see them so there's the blades it came in came in this box a freshly opened box uh, so i'll open the blade and just show you they're actually only wrapped once in like a, um, a wax paper and that's how each blade looks let me just lock that exposure there you go that looks a bit better so each blade looks like that oh you'll have to bear with me guys if I'm a bit subdued today I've got a headache and a temperature so I must have COVID-19 <laughs> oh dear me right yeah so that's the blades that we've got in them. They're using the PAA Atomic Rocket. Uh, get it the right way. My eyes are shocking. There it is, the PAA Atomic Rocket. Get that in a bit of water there. We've got Donny Osma on standby. We're going to uh, splash up with a little bit of moss, clubman moss, and balm up with EAD. That's good stuff, guys. Good stuff. <laughs> Right, but the real star of the show, apart from the, the dueling razors, here we go, the soap. Can you see that? Hold that there. That is Through the Fire Finecraft Spring Fern Soap. Straight out the back. It's a, a medium, I'll put it at five. I get a bit of bergamot. To me, to me what that smells like, that smells like a WSP barbershop. Um, it says fern, so I was expecting a fougere type scent. Don't get that at all. It's actually quite bright, fresh and soapy. And we're looking forward to doing that. I'll lather that up in a minute. So let's get on here. I could tell you the lengths and I could tell you the weights. and I c Don't matter, it doesn't matter. Look, put them side by side. Can you see? Very similar in length, very similar heads, both got the notches on, you see them, that one, that one, and that's there, and they've both got the persona blades, actually you know, I think the Parker variant may be a little heavier, I don't know, so yes, before we go any further, I will show you, I'm starting them both on, there's the little, the little marker dot, if you can see it there, that's on number five. And the little marker dot, you may be able to see it a little bit better on there. That's on number five too. I'm going to do first pass on number five, second pass on number three, last pass on number one. I'll probably do pickups with this because that's Daddy's favourite. Um, yeah, but I thought if we do five, three and one, we will get the the sense of what's going on right across the whole blade gap from its height to its lowest and so on so let's uh try this soap new soap sent to me by dennis now oh guys i can smell it from here wow hey, this minute you start the minute you start to it, you get the sense you get the the scent Oh wow, and you can feel, you can just feel it's a wow, quite a uh, look at this. That's, look at this, guys. Oh, just a couple of seconds. So it looks like quite a, a light, a light lather. It might whip up differently on the face. Oh, how is everybody doing? Been a good week in work, but I've just slightly off colour headache temperature but um i don't know if it's a man thing but uh what i do 
what I do in situations like this, guys, is just ignore it and try and carry on. Okay, oh, we'll wet the face and then we'll see where we go and we'll talk a bit about these razors now. The Parker Varium is relatively new in the den. I bought that myself. The Progress, when I very first started wet shaving, I bought a Gillette. When I saved, shaved with that Gillette for about three years, and then decided, oh, this soap smells really. That's actually quite fresh, really nice. Look at this, can you see that? Um, what happened was, my daughter said, I will buy you a razor, Dad. And it was her that bought me the Progress. So the Progress really was my first um, modern DE razor. I want to shave with that guys, oh, it must have been five years, three times a week. I was shaving three times a week then. I had a different job. I only worked three days a week. So I was, um, I worked three 12 hour days. So I had the time at home and I would shave three times a week. But look at this soap guys, brilliant. Don't know a lot about this, so it's very slick. It smells fantastic. So we'll go progress on the left hand side, Parker on the right hand side, all the way through the shave. And then I'll try and give us an honest opinion as I can. Here we've got number five. Right, well, straight you see the progress. I love it. I love it. I would say up until very, very recently, it was my number one razor. Um, it had been my number one from the day I got it until about three weeks ago when I got my Blackland Dart. And I've got to be honest, guys, I know this is an adjustable and the Blackland Dart isn't, but that Blackland Dart, what a shave. For me, I know your mileage may vary, but what? What an absolute superb shave. As is this, look at that guy. Hey, that's almost BBS. Wonderful, so that's there. That's there, we'll put that one on one side now. And we'll carry on with the Parker. Well, do you know what guys? The Parker feels slightly smoother. And do you know why it feels slightly smoother? Because it feels slightly less aggressive. Um, uh, there's not a lot in it, but it feels less aggressive to me. But that's compensated by, I have to be honest, it feels marginally smoother. But let's do the rinse off. Oh, wow. Right. There's not a lot in that, but that, I would put that bang on. I would put that at 50-50. They're both, they're both exactly the same there, so we'll move it down now. And I don't know if you can see it on if my phone's picking up, but that's on number three now. And we'll put the Parker on number three. Yeah, I can't remember. I think it was Shaver 37. I said, will you do a video where you compare adjustables? Well, look at this soap, guys. This is another one from Dennis. This soap. 
absolutely wonderful. Look at this. Wow. I had a look for it online and couldn't find I can find the company, but I couldn't find this soap anywhere. But I couldn't find anyone on YouTube. I think Chris over at IMCDB did one a while ago. And that's about it. Here we go. Number three. You see, this McCurr's got a very a very special place in my heart, I think, because it was a gift. But I think because it was my first modern day DE razor. But then also, guys, for me personally, look at that. I think it's beautiful. I think it's absolute. And this, uh, there's some, there's people out there don't like it. I just do not understand why. I think it really, really sets the razor up. I like it. I like everything about it. Okay, there you go, there's that one. Clean that off. Now, I've got to be honest, that didn't feel like it was. Yeah. See, once again, guys, they both feel exactly the same. I'm wondering if. If number one is going to be too mild because this. That doesn't feel like it's taking a great deal off. Isn't it funny? How your beard changes because I remember for the first four or five years I shaved with that progress. Every shave was number two, every single one. And then I remember just realising one day that it wasn't it wasn't doing it anymore. Had to up the aggression. Okay. Hmm. I've got to be honest, on three, the McCurr just seems to have clawed it back there. So, here we go. We're going against the grain. Number one. To, am I the only person, guys, that struggles to see that little dot? It's almost like a water droplet. So, we'll put that on number one. Let's get that wrong. And we'll put that on number one. And we'll lather. Look at this. I, and it smells fantastic and all. Oh my word. Look at that. It smells fantastic. You know what, guys? Oh, it feels wonderful. Very, very soft. Very slick. Very luxurious. Oh, I could just stand here all day and do that. I think this brush is helping. Uh, yeah, so... Please let me know what your shares of the day are. I've got, uh, I've got some nice, nice videos coming up. Nice stuff. Okay, here we go. Please click like and subscribe. Channel's doing quite well. Have some good subscribers. Some good subscriber numbers. Yeah, oh my. Wow, yeah, and you see, now we're getting to it. Can you hear that? Wow, now that really is. That really is. Baby butt smooth. Yeah. Yeah, so I've had some... I've had quite a few subscribers this past week, which is good. The channel's growing. I've bought some soap from overseas. I'm wet. <laughs> if you know me, you know it was it was a bargain budget. But uh, I'm looking forward to see. That's a problem. I mean, I've said it before. My hair grows right up to the very edge of my nostril. Wow. 
That feels really good, that guy. Here we go. With the Parker, you see, if you notice anything that I'm doing subconsciously, because I love the Makur. Uh, I like this razor as well, but I'm, I've got an emotional attachment to that Makur. So if, I don't think I'm doing anything differently, but if you spot anything you think I'm subconsciously doing different, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> Okay. Right. We've got a clear difference now. A clear separation now on number one. I can tell you right now that my current progress has got me BBS. Parker. No. No. It hasn't. So you what we'll do, we'll get some ladder mittens on the go. Look, look at that guy. Okay. Yeah. There's a there's a clear difference. I'm gonna do number one. I'm gonna do pickups on number one on the McCur. But there is a very clear difference there, guys. Under the neck. Can you hear that? Maybe it's psychological. I don't think so. I don't think that, that's going to. But anyway. That's a shame. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me know which you prefer. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, there you go. Absolutely wonderful. Oh. Yep. Oh, got some more samples to use. Got some more soaps from Dennis to use. Really good ones. Reed used the soap that Dennis sent me. Reed from Shave Cave. Go and check out his channel. And uh, <laughs> he used it. And, well, I'm toying with the idea of getting a new brush. And the one I've got my eye on kind of favours the the, um, the pattern on the front of this. So we'll wait and see what happens before I use that one. Because I do like to try and colour code my thumbnail. Okay. Wow. Can I lean in? Look at that, guys. Can you see, do I look red on that camera now? I do to me. Yeah. Very clear. Very clear difference for me. The uh, McCurr, McCurr's BBS, as opposed to the Parker being DFS. Brilliant, there you go. Look at that. Not a burn. Not a sting. Oh, have you used this Clubman? The musk. Oh, guys, it smells fantastic. It really, really does. And the bargain basement balm. I got this. 90 pence, that's what's that, about a dollar fifteen. And you know what guys, it's sandalwood and it smells lovely and it's very, very rich. Smells fantastic. Leaves my skin, put a bit too much on there actually. Leaves my skin feeling fantastic. Look at that. Mm, oh yeah, well, you can smell that sandalwood. It all complements that fern very, very well. So, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe. Let me know. Progress or Parker. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me. I will see you on Saturday for the Saturday Shave. Look after yourself. Stay safe. And remember, in a cold, dark world, be a beacon of warmth and light. See you guys.